Hi there, and welcome to this video on the dentistry interview, focusing on the topic of manual dexterity. I'm Connell from Dentist Mind, where we go through important topics of the dentistry interview. Whatever university you're applying to, multiple mini interview or panel, we've got you covered. If you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button. Whilst you're watching, please leave any comments below if you're unsure about anything at all. We've got helpful timestamps below for each part of the video to help guide you. The following video is a free sample of our full interview course, which you can buy by clicking on the link down below in the description. So let's get started. Calculation MMI interview stations. Interview lesson eight. You're a dental student on your placement at a local practice. One patient who weighs 68 kilos requires pain medication for the filling they've just had. You're told that you can give three milligrams per kilogram of codeine. The nurse has prepared a syringe for you, which contains 300 milligrams in 37 mil. What volume of the solution in the syringe do you need to give? Explain your calculation to the interviewer. Okay, so pause the video and have a stab at this under the correct time pressures and then we'll go through it. You have seven minutes totaling and uh, that includes the reading time. So with all these style questions, break down the information. First of all, you've got the weight, 68 kilograms. Then you've got three milligrams per kilogram of codeine. So that's your 68 times three gives you 204 milligrams of codeine. One syringe has 300 milligrams. So 204 over 300 gives you 0.68. So this means 68% of the 37 mil syringe needs to be administered, which equates to 25.16 mils. Talk through it uh, with the examiner, clear and concisely, just like I did then. Follow a structure, and then they might have some other questions for you. Again, try and do this one within the time allocated. Uh, you'll get more out of it that way. You are a Birmingham dental student. The consultant has asked you to do a calculation. A patient, Jessica, is currently on an IV drip. She needs to receive a, a thousand milliliters using a controller with a drip factor of 15 drops per mil. The infusion begins at 1 p.m., although the patient needs to have 30 minute rest over every four hours. The drip rate is 20 drops per minute. Calculate the volume of liquid left at 6 p.m. Again, break down the information. They're 15 drops per mil. So the rate of 20 drops per minute is the equivalent to 1.33333 mil per minute. This is the equivalent to 1.333 times 60 mil uh, for an hour, which is 80 mil an hour. Between one and six, there's five hours. But remember, every four hours gotta take a break. So um, we lose 30 minutes. So the total hours is actually four and a half hours of drip time. So 4.5 times by the hourly drip rate of 80 mils is 360 mils of drip given. And then remember to read the question correctly, <clears throat> it's asking you how much is left. So then you take away that from your thousand and you're left with the correct answer of 640 mils. Lesson eight completed. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe by clicking down below and please leave a comment. Click here to continue watching our interview series and to unlock the full access to 70 tutorials covering core interview topics, multiple mini interview mocks, top tips and more, click on the link in the description below now.